next guest is an actor, a host, and a fan favorite from RuPaul's Drag Race, who you know best by one name and one name only. Please welcome Shangela! Shangela! I can sit in this. How about that? That's Wait, Lonnie, fabulous. look at how we're dressed compared to Shangela. I know. We, like, <laughs> we, look, we got on rugs. We got the wrong memo, yo. <laughs> what the? We, we got on rugs. <laughs> hey, it's fashion. <laughs> It's fashion. Oh, God. I am <laughs> such a huge fan of you. Yes. I, like, I'm so excited you're oh, here. You're electric. Thank you. Yes. That is so kind of you. I love y'all, too. Thank I you. I can't believe I'm here. This is so fabulous. I know. Oh, okay, so goodness. let's talk about fashion first, Lonnie. Yes. I got to do this. Break it down for me. How long did it take for you to get ready? Did you do everything yourself? How'd you get started? Everything. Well, in drag, you know, I've been... Uh, performing in drag for about 10 years mm -hmm. now. So I can do a full glam look. It depends on what mug you're going for. Right. I know divas that can slap on a 30 minute mug, okay? okay. That's the makeup, 30 minutes. What's but this? for me, this in to out is about three and a half to four hours. Wow. I have a great, fantastic glam team. My friend Angel made this entire look for me. Oh. And Mindy, my makeup is done by Luscious Mascara, hair by Sammy. Honey, I got a whole team that just the whole put this team. together. Village, give it up yes. for the team. Yes. 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 On it, you know? Because I did RuPaul's Celebrity Drag Race. Uh -huh, you drag did. is no joke. Yes. I mean, that was a lot. Oh, Lonnie. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, you look good, though, Lonnie. You <laughs> yes, look you do. good. It, it made me feel different. Can you explain the first time you became Shangela? Well, how did that happen? Well, uh, there were some guys performing single ladies at a show in West Hollywood. And I taught them the choreography because I learned it from YouTube. You know, I love Beyonce. Yeah. yeah. And the night before they were to go on, one of the guys got sick and couldn't do it. Well, they needed a Beyonce. Boom. So baby, <laughs> first time ever, I went out there, my little leotard that I had gotten from Ross Dress for Less, and <laughs> <laughs> it was fabulous. And my mom even was there visiting me in Los Angeles oh. at the time. She put little rhinestones on and glued it. And, oh, oh and that's my mom there. Hey, that's mom. Mama Deb. That is so sweet. Yes. Oh my and God. And then fast forward 10 years later, I got to actually perform Beyonce for Beyonce yeah. at the GLAAD Awards. How so, was that? What was she like for Oh it? my gosh, she was everything you would want Beyonce to be when you <laughs> met her, if you're a super fan like I am. Yeah. And I remember after the show, she had given me a standing ovation, her and Jay-Z, so I was like, oh yes, love yes. it. Yes. And yes. afterwards, I got to meet her, and I just remember her saying to me, like, she was like, you were so good. <laughs> I was like, you were so good, you are Beyonce. I love you. And I love Beyonce. Ah, we love that her, That is so too. good. So we know we we're seeing Shangela live and in action right now, but when you're not Shangela, you're DJ. Yes. So give me the differences between both. Yeah, well, DJ is my name. A lot of people think I'm an actual DJ. No, that's not my talent. <laughs> that is my name. And the difference, I would say, really, Shangela is my drag persona. It's a glamorous showgirl. Yeah. I love yeah. to be like, you know, watching Jennifer Lopez in concert. You're like, yeah, she got the rhinestones and the sparkles. Yep, yep. The totally. hair. That's Shangela. And DJ, I'm still just as fun, loud, country, and friendly. Uh -huh. But just not all this sparkle. How did you come up with the drag name Shangela? My friends Ron and Brad actually came up with the name. They, my friend Brad was working telemarketing. Mm -hmm. And he was calling, you know, you called 20,000 times. And this lady, he could not pronounce her name correctly. She said, well, you're going to get my name right. My name is Shangela Laquifa Wadley. And don't you forget it. Oh. So my did first show, say... he was like, you will be Shangela Laquifa Wadley. I said, all right, there we go. Oh, okay, I love that. And you know, you're really big on Cameo. Um, what is the least favorite request that you've gotten and what's your favorite request that you've got? Ooh, that's a good one. I love the Cameo app because I get to stay connected with my fans. Yeah. I would say my favorite are like the pep talks. People are like, my, you know, my daughter's having a rough time oh. in school. She's 15. Would you make her a message? And I'm like, oh, of course. Anything I can pass along. Yeah. Because I know what it feels like sometimes to be like a young gay kid and not fit in and feel yeah. comfortable. And to get a call or a message from someone you love, that, yeah. that'd be really cool. So that's what I love. Uh, what I don't love is when they call and say, can you help me break up with my boyfriend? Ooh. I wanted you, Shangela, to give him a message that said, dear Robert, <laughs> Jason, don't want you no more. <laughs> I don't like doing that. And the check is not lovely enough. Right. It could be. Okay, okay. <laughs> it could be. That is so random. <sighs> it's so random. So I also heard that you live in Jennifer Lewis, who happens to be one of our favorite guests. Yeah. Jennifer Lewis's basement for the last 10 years. Yes. 
And Talk to me about this. I would love to. Okay, so uh, people go, oh, Shangela, you living in the basement still? But I gotta, it's Jennifer Lewis's basement slash pool house, okay? okay? And I moved in there. I started as Jennifer Lewis's assistant okay. when I first moved to oh, Los wow. Angeles in 2008. And then when I got on Drag Race, uh, the second time, she said, okay, now, honey, you become too famous to be my assistant, but you can move into the basement. So I moved in, and we became such great friends. And we've had a show on YouTube called Jennifer Lewis and Shangela. She's one of my favorite mentors and has like really impacted me, uh, just learning so much from a professional like yes. Jennifer Lewis. And you know, it's LA, it's rent control. So yeah. I ain't trying to leave until the turn of the century. Right, right. I feel you. That's I a good spot. You. I mean, I just think it's wonderful how, you know, we always talk about the Hollywood life, you know, how you can come and you can have like humble beginnings, have yeah. nothing, and then you can get your own show. Right now you're on HBO and it's called We're Here. Tell us about that show. Oh, I'm so thrilled about that show. You know, I co-host that show with my friends Bob the Drag Queen and Eureka O'Hara. Mm -hmm. And it's about three fabulous drag queens traveling across America to conservative small towns and partnering people with, to amplify their queer or queer adjacent story yeah. and let America and the world remember what the experiences is like, like they are currently for people in these small conservative spaces. Yeah. You know, we think we've made it so far with regard to acceptance and equality yes. uh, among the LGBTQ plus community, but there's still so much work <laughs> to be done and stories that deserve to be told. Yes. So coming from Paris, Texas, and now being able to be a part of this showcase, this amplification of voices and stories, I'm so proud. So let me ask you, what's your take on the Dave Chappelle situation between him and the LGBTQ community? Well, I think that, oh, that's a difficult conversation. Yeah, and I'm gonna is. tell you, there are a lot more people who are more equipped to answer that conversation, specifically those in the trans community, mm -hmm. but we are an LGBTQIA plus explain community. Explain the difference. So, Can you explain the difference between transgender and drag? Like, well, you're not trans. Mm -hmm. No, I am not, I'm a drag queen. And right. people but don't understand But there are drag queens that. who are trans, yes. Exactly, yes. but people don't understand the difference and they lump you guys all in the same boat and it's discrimination which is wrong, you know, generally, just like, I'm black, but I'm not like Haitian black. I'm black, black from, you know, <laughs> Detroit. Yeah. It's okay. a difference and we shouldn't be lumped in it. So people need to understand that until they figure out the differences, that you all are one community and nobody should be discriminated against, correct? Well, if I could give you a high five right now, hallelujah <laughs> on that, okay, number one. Absolutely. And I will say this as well, yes, we should not be grouped and stereotyped at all at, because we are a very vast community with a lot of differences. Mm -hmm. But one thing that runs throughout the community is the necessity for equal treatment, mm -hmm. for Respect. us people to be accepted and loved. Mm -hmm. And that's what our show We're Here is really about. Mm. And especially for our brothers and sisters of the trans community that have, are part of a very you know, mm -hmm. hot topic right now. But the topic really isn't so much Dave Chappelle as it is the need for there to be kind of um, equal showing of all the great parts of the LGBTQ plus community, all the letters, okay? Yeah. And it deserves to be, that stories need to be told, they need to be told authentically, and mm. people just need respect. Definitely, and we want that respect. We got a clip, we're here, take a look. If you asked me years ago, would there be an openly gay mayor in a small conservative town, I would go, girl, no. But they voted for Bruno. What do you think that you, performing in drag in this particular community is going to do. I wanted to be the mayor that I always wanted a mayor to be. I am who I am, and I'm willing to express my personality in any format possible. Knowing what we've just went through for the last year with COVID, coming out um, and embracing my community once again and performing will give people hope, especially the youth, that this too shall pass. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes! I cannot wait for We're Here. All right, Shangela, we're gonna play a very cool game that's gonna help us in really getting to know you. It's the ultimate test, okay? We call this game Celebrity Pop Quiz. Ew! Ooh, yeah. I love games. <laughs> okay, Shangela, we're gonna ask you a bunch of juicy, personal, and sometimes yes. tough questions. All you have to do is give us your honest answer. Sound good? It sounds bright. All right, here's the first one. What's your favorite way to start a conversation? 
Oh, well, you know I'm from Paris, Texas. We talk to everybody. So it's like, hey, hallelujah. How you doing? <laughs> Very that. I love it. I love that That's going to break any ice. All right, who in your life has the biggest impact on you and who you've become? Mm, that's a good one. Uh, I was raised by very strong women. My mom, my grandma, my aunt Sheila. Oh. So everyone in my life who has had a part of raising me has been very strong women. So I credit so much of who I am as DJ and Shangela to them. Ooh, All beautiful. Right. What's your favorite smell and why? Oh, uh, <laughs> favorite smell. I, you know, I love candles. They can yes. be across the board. I think yeah. a candle can set the tone for a room, calm you down if you're running all over the place. Love. But I'm getting makeup, baby. I like that candle. Yes. A good linen scent. Ooh, yes. a clean yes. line. Yes. Linen is a good one. All right, you're doing great so far. Here's number four. If you could invent a holiday, what would it be? Okay, um, invent a holiday. Well, I'm dressed like Christmas. Right, right. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say, if it doesn't already exist, International Drag Diva Day. So if you ever wanted to be that's a drag so diva fun. and you can't be a part of our show, we're here, then you can just, that's your day. Dra pop a fan. Drag be like, at clock. work. Drag you, at school. Thank you. Drag at the government. You know, I taught Vice President Kamala Harris how to pop a fan. Like, you know, ta 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 ah! Yes, yes, honey, the VP. She's the diva. All that's right. Fun. OK, Oof. here's another one. What's the most useful product you own? Oh, useful product I own. Um, Makeup remover. Oh my God. Makeup <laughs> remover, because at the end of the day, baby, it's unless you off. want the pillowcase ruined, <laughs> I'm gonna need a good makeup. Yeah, because those yeah. eyes right there with the with the, the stones. Yes. How do you get that off? Well, the stones they're on with glue, so you just peel them off. Yeah. Okay. But you still have makeup all over the face. Yes, I want you to get the good zoom. There yes. it is. Like, <laughs> I would sleep in this if I could, but it'd be bad for the sheets. <laughs> so a makeup remover, a good one. I use a whether it's the wipes or different types of oil. Albaline has always been one of my favorite. Yeah. Ooh. Life that just moisturizes that skin and gets it all off. Get it nice. going. Yes. Skin is and beautiful. last question, um, when it comes to your friendships, who's your oldest friend? I'm lucky because yeah. I have a lot of long time friends. Yeah. Um, a lot of my friends I've known for 20 years. Oh, uh, oh geez. Two that I would call out really quickly, my best friends, Sonica and Shamanda, because they're both from Paris. And I took Shamanda to the homecoming uh, game, homecoming court, and Sonica to prom. These are, and we just talked like last week, so we're oh, That's so, hi Sonica, hi, hi Shamanda. Hi. Well, you know what, you pass with flying colors. Yes. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today, Shangela. We yeah. love you, come back anytime, okay? Oh, thank y'all, I will definitely come back, okay? Yay. All right, okay. <laughs> Episodes of We Here debut on HBO Mondays at 9 p.m. and will be available to stream on HBO Max.